and happy Saturday, my friend. Hopefully your day has been fantastic. Mine's has been pretty good. Been sitting at my desk doing work most of the day. So it's time to actually eat and feed myself. And since it is a Saturday, I figured I'd eat one of my favorite meals. And that's pancakes. So come on with me as we make these pancakes, potatoes, and peppers. The potatoes and peppers are going to be roasted in the air fryer while the pancakes will be cooked in my nine stick skillet by Caraway. And I'll be talking about weight loss during the process. Real quick, let me go grab my headphone so you can actually hear me. And I hope I have them reset to my phone. What's going on, T? Long time no see. How you doing? So real quick, since it's been a while since I've been on live. First off, can y'all hear me? If y'all can hear me, drop something in the comment section. Now, it's been so long that I've done these with any regularity that you all don't remember what we do at the beginning of each one of these lives. At the beginning of each live, I do a check-in with you to see how you're doing. I want to know how you're doing. So, if you're doing great today, put a 7 in the comments. If you're not doing so great and you need some upliftment, drop the number 3 and we'll send you some love and love. So today we're going to be making a very simple yet delicious meal. We're going to make some pancakes and we're going to make some roasted potatoes and peppers. We're going to start off by cleaning our pancakes. Okay, got some folks in here needing some love. Got key in the building. Your Bluetooth not picking up, did not pick up. Okay, thank you. Y'all can still hear me, but not through the Bluetooth. I don't know why that is. Let's see what's the word. I'm reconnecting my Bluetooth real quick. So hi, y'all. Can y'all hear me through the Bluetooth now? Let me know. As a matter of fact, why don't somebody come in alive with me for a half a second? And, and we'll see what's what. Let's see who's in here. That I can invite. Anybody in here want to go on the live? Jump in the live with me so I can see if I can hear it through these headphones. Because I can't tell whether or not they're on right now. So I really didn't have a specific topic to talk about. Questions. Yep, it didn't connect. I don't know what that is. But I'm still hearing you over there. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but it ain't in my headset. So it sounds doing, better though. It actually sounds better though. Um, I, I feel like it did pick up, it, but you can't hear me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no. So, we're, so for whatever reason, it's not working. So okay. it is what it is. We'll, we'll we'll just we'll just run with this sound for now. Okay. But how you doing, man? Long time no talk to. I know, right? Um, I'm doing well. Life is good. I can't complain. You know, I'm enjoying a quiet day. Um, kid free. <laughs> day at home. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day sometimes. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been able to plant some um my seedlings for the fall. Okay. And I've been begging for, for some uh I gotta say begging, but getting some nice greens from the uh community garden. Okay. There you go. So how things with you i see i feel like i haven't been here in a while because you got like a whole new place or something yeah i did i moved into a whole new place back in um back in december mm -hmm. so it's been a whole been a whole year however for six months i wasn't in posting so i had kind of disappeared and okay. so now i got to get the algorithm to let all my people know that i'm back in 
on purpose again. So Okay. Yeah, I wasn't on so I felt like it was me that disappeared because I haven't been around due to the fact that I've been traveling Yo. and um moving around. Yeah. Getting, okay. So, so it's probably process. a little bit of both then. Yeah. I guess this is the season to get back into it. Yeah, well, I've, I've been back into it for six months now, but for six months prior, I did take that, take that sabbatical. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so appreciate you letting me know that my sound bank working like I wanted it to. No problem. Have a wonderful but, life. See you. Absolutely. Appreciate you. And if you got questions, you can go and drop them in the thing, or if you got them now, since you got me, go and ask them. So today I'm answering weight loss, weight loss and type questions and all that good stuff since I've rebranded and going back to what I was doing originally and okay. that's focusing, focusing a weight loss because I came to the realization that people don't always act for the health. A lot of people will act for the vanity side of things. Okay. And even though I want to be known as a health coach, helping people improve and lose weight is improving their health because nine out of the 10 top killers one of the predecessors to getting that disease is being overweight. For sure. So by me focusing on the thing that people actually want, I help my I still achieve my ultimate goal, which right. is to help people improve their health. Right. Yep. So I'm embracing what people tend to want. Uh, and you know what like, it's a journey. The whole entrepreneurship, the whole um you know, this whole process is a journey. Can y'all see me or not? Am my video off? Yeah, yeah, your video off. Oh, good. I just got to watch the potato. No, good, good, because I'm sitting here in my bathrobe with my whole, you know, my so hair's long. Like, I, 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 I think you're still burned up and all of that good and whatnot. <laughs> you weren't expecting to come on live like I was. Yeah, exactly, right? But, you know, I, I do get the fantasy part because, um, you know, I know years ago I, I reached out to you for, uh, you know, advice. Da, da, da. And I've been on my journey. I've been able to uh, maintain and drop and maintain. But to be honest, my real struggle right now, and because the 40 and over crew, is um, mm-hmm. building that muscle, right? So I've been jogging. I've been able to build the muscle, like, firm back up. Um, because during the pandemic, I felt I started getting that doing that flabby stuff. Ooh, ugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't okay. like it because you drop you you drop the weight. Wait. So 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 let let's okay. use specific words here because, okay. folks, that's some of the things that I want to talk about. You didn't drop weight. You lost well because of how you were training. You did lose mm-hmm. weight. The idea that most people want to do is they actually want a body recomposition. They want to lose fat and build muscle. Mm-hmm. But most people go in and train, like you said, you was running. Running don't build muscle. Running is cardio. <laughs> so so running, running is gonna get you to gonna get you to weight loss. So that's why some people end up losing weight and they feel like they get softer yeah. than what they do when they when they were were, were plush mm. and plus size i'm gonna use plush i've been trying to find the right words to use so i don't offend people i, I don't but feel like felt, plush is the right word though i really don't we're women we're women okay i'm just saying i mean women if you're in the comments please right, tell so me. Not, plush is not right. i got somebody who's lived that life <laughs> what is a term that i can use when i'm speaking to people that are overweight so that they understand that i'm talking to them but i'm not being offensive because i don't because I've come to the conclusion that people that are overweight, and I use the term fat when I was talking to a friend, they know that they're right. fat. However, right. me calling them fat could be offensive. Right. So how do I communicate that? And then we'll get back to answering the question. Okay, okay. So curvy, I like curvy. Yeah, I think curvy is now one of those acceptable words. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. How about full? Now, what? What's the face look like? Oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm just, those, those seem like very nice words. Yes. Curvy. Yeah. But see, but, but, but there are slim girls that consider themselves okay. curvy. So does curvy right really, so does yeah. curvy really, do, and then full, does full? So you, you full? No. Like, Oh, so, like, so, okay, so because so, so, so what am I saying? Body? A full size versus snack size? Now, look, it's really, now look, you're really look, trying to get me in trouble. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> when we when women do like they they have like body types when you're doing um when you're measuring out clothes and stuff like that. Full is one of those categories. Like okay. full, so that's one of those categories. That's the reason why I say a full. Okay. Now <laughs> Okay, we we can take away curvy because yeah, you're right about that. You know, as a slim woman, you know what I'm saying? I feel curvy. I can't I can't say thick because you know what I'm saying. Folks say they, they thick. Well, no, thick ain't thick ain't good. Thick oh, it's Because mm -hmm. it, it, no, because no, thick, thick, thick ain't. So I I need a word that's specific enough so folks know I'm talking about them and I'm not complimenting. <laughs> oh, okay, well then just go ahead and say plush. All right. <laughs> There we go. I, 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 my, my whole goal is to not offend people, but I'm not trying to compliment them in the process. I'm trying to bring awareness okay. to their situation. Well, no, I've been plush, I think, works. Ask your, ask your people, your people who join, ask them if, if that's good for them. I, I was giving it from a woman's perspective. Fluffy, all right. It. right. So, yeah, so, so my homegirl say fluffy in here. All okay, right. yeah. I can, I, so fluffy, plush, all right, bet. So, with that being said, now that I can say if you if you're feeling fluffy, if you're feeling plush, then you need to to, to move like this. Cause I, being a slim dude and being a slim dude my entire life, I've battled with weight, but it's the opposite of what people who are plush deal with. So I, I know that there is stigma around it, and so me being a slim dude calling someone that is overweight fat, fat could seem abrasive that seem a little harsh because it's like how dare you however i hear folks that are in that community call other folks in, in that community that word it's like but that's just like we can't it's folks that uh, them, them light-skinned folks can't call us the n-word but folks that look like us say it all the time anyway to get back to the actual teaching part of things sharing this live please everybody as a matter of fact there's seven people on here right now Share this live with somebody who ain't on this live. Okay. And if I, you own I, the, oh, I was going to say, I'm going to go ahead and leave, but I wanted to just redirect back to um, what my concern was. So I dropped the weight. I was working out, but I started getting, like, again, I felt flabby. Um, and then I would add some friends who do work out. And one of the bigger things that the men would say, oh, you need to add protein. And you know the conversation with the whole vegan. See, there you go. See that? Well, that, protein isn't what you need. That, that's the wrong answer. But okay, I'm with you. Keep going. But that, but that, but that's the whole substance of it. It's trying to figure out um how do i build that muscle i want michelle obama arms okay now um <laughs> those Vi viola davis's looks okay but what i'm saying is like how do i build that muscle tone that i used to have in my 20s and 30s right so Got it. i'll leave and i'll let you do your thing all right, all right yeah for sure for sure i appreciate appreciate the question because it gives me something to talk about because i didn't have a whole lot to talk about i, I just came to cook but i want i know i wanted to talk to y'all while i cook so the, the peppers and potatoes is done. So to answer this young lady's question, first and foremost, when you're trying to lose weight, cardio is a part of the process, but when you do too much cardio, you end up leaving your body in a situation where it is losing muscle and it's losing fat. And you don't want to do that. You actually want to build muscle. And one, one of the advice that people always give to folks when they say i want to i want to build muscle the first piece of advice that bodybuilders that personal trainers give people is eat more protein more protein is not the key to building muscle because if you already aren't using the protein that you currently have having more protein doesn't get you to where you're trying to go if, if that makes sense, is, am I tracking so far, right? So if you want to actually build muscle, you have to do the activities that require your muscles to grow. The only way to get your muscles to grow is through strength training. Cardio's cool, cardio has its place and all of that. But if you actually want to build muscle, you need to be strength trained. And I'll tell you some of the benefits to building muscle if you're on a weight loss journey. First and foremost, muscle is more condensed.
than fat. So I had a client who lost 10 pounds, but lost over 10 inches in their waist and arms and legs. All of this put together. I don't remember the exact numbers. But the reason why they only had such a small amount of weight loss is because they lost fat and they put on muscle, right? So why am I talking about muscle and fat? If I had a pound of muscle and a pound of fat in my hand, you can see the difference. I'll use this as an example. Because a pound is a pound is a pound. At first, let's make that. So if I had a pound of feathers and a pound of bricks, which one is going to take up more space, have more volume? Somebody tell me in the chat. This is a conversation, y'all. I'm waiting on somebody to answer my question before I move on. Somebody knows which one, which one, which one is going to take up more space: a pound of bricks or a pound of feathers? Somebody said bricks. Wrong. The feathers are going to take up more space because I can take one brick and it's going to be a pound, but it's going to take me a bag full of feathers to make a pound, right? Because a pound is a pound is a pound. So a pound of fat had takes up way more space than a pound of muscle. So when you, you gain more muscle, you're actually taking up less space even though you weigh the same. So that's one reason that you want to build muscle if you're looking to lose weight. Second is muscle burns more calories than fat does. So if you're someone who's trying to lose, I lost this. So if you're someone who's trying to lose fat and, recomp and recompose your body, it makes sense for you to focus on more muscle building activities than cardio because cardio is just there to work on your cardiovascular system and burn calories. Well, we've already learned that burning calories in and of itself isn't enough to lose weight, right? Or to build muscle because that's what we're talking about right now is building muscle. So you build muscle by strength training. If you're on a weight loss journey and you want to balance your strength training and your cardio, I'd say three days of strength training, two days of cardio. When you're doing strength training, you want to focus on a term called, uh, what is the term? Hypertrophy. Untie my tongue and try that word again. Hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is when you cause the muscles to be at their maximum amount so that it forces them to grow in the next when you it forces the muscles to cause these micro tears in the muscles so that the body knows hey we need to be stronger we need to grow so that next time we're under this load we can handle it, right? So hypertrophy is one of the terms I want you to write down. The second term I need you to pay attention to is progressive overload. Progressive overload is a big way to say a simple thing, which is to make it harder. Why do you want to make your workouts harder? Because the body gets very acclimated or accustomed to movement and to strain and stress. So if you're doing the same exercise, the same way, with the same weight, your body gets used to it and it doesn't have the same effect as it did when you first started. So progressive overload means that you're either making it heavier or you're doing more reps. Progressive overload means that you're either lifting heavier weight, you're doing more reps, or you're doing them at a faster pace. Essentially, you're making the workouts harder every time. No, 
but not every time. My clients, they're on a three week, no, it's a two week cycle. So every two weeks, their workout get harder. There's either more reps or there's more weight added. This progressive overload makes it so that your muscles never get accustomed to what they're doing. So if you want to build muscle, the key is to focus on strength training where you hit hyper hypertrophy, meaning that your muscles are at their maximum amount of what they can handle, and you use progressive overload to continue to make sure that the body is not able to get used to the load and work that you're putting on. You track with me so far? I need somebody drop some some emojis in the comment section. See if you track it with me. I need to know y'all actually hear and not just watch. This is a conversation, like I told you before, right? Get this started. Nice and warmed up. All right, so you're tracking. All right, somebody, at least somebody with me. Jeez. The whole 14 of y'all, and I only got one answer in there. I ain't saying nothing else until I know somebody else is tracking with me. All right, Miss Prandy said, "Let me know she's tracking with you." Who else? Who else? Tracking. All right, y'all track. Gosh. So most people, when they go into their weight loss journey, they think, "Oh, let me walk, let me run, let me jog, let me get on the stairmaster." All of those are great additional movements, but you are best. You are going to get your best results and the best return on your time investment by focusing on strength training. And when you get to the strength training, if you really want to maximize your time and results, I would focus on compound movements versus isolation movements. Compound movements are movements that focus on more than one muscle group at a time. Think of squat, because in a squat, you're working your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes. If you're doing them right, your calves too. A bench press, even though I don't recommend it for everybody, I'm just an example. Or a pull up, a push up, a push up's working your chest, your back, your biceps, your triceps. These are compound movements, movements that work more than one body muscle. Versus an isolation movement, a leg, a leg curl. It's just working your quads. A bicep curl, a tricep push down. These are isolation movements that focus on one muscle at a time. So if you want to maximize your growth and maximize your time, do strength training and focus on compound movements. Thankfully, when you join my 12-week vitality blueprint, you get these workouts laid out for you and based on where you are on your fitness journey. Because there are some people who can do full push-ups. There are some people who cannot do full push-ups. So they have to do a regressed version. And then we progress them by the end of the program to a full normal push-up. So focusing on building muscle is more important for your weight loss than just working out or just doing cardio. So I hope that was helpful. In order to build muscle and still lose weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. A calorie deficit it means that you burn more calories in a day than what you consume. Why is this important? Because if you take, if you create a 500 calorie deficit per day and you do that for seven days, that's 3,500 calories that you did not consume. Interestingly enough, 35 calories is what it takes to equal one pound of fat. So if you're eating in a calorie deficit and working out with strength training, you are losing fat while still building muscle. Now, a lot of people will say, I need, I need extra amounts of protein in order to build muscle. Yes, protein is important for building muscle. However, the amount of protein is going to be drastically different for each person. Most of the standards that they tell you is 
one and a half or to two, one and a half to two grams of protein for every pound of muscle that you weigh. That is too much protein for the average person, even if they're trying to build more muscle. Those are the numbers for an elite athlete or someone who is a bodybuilder for perfection. If you're not a bodybuilder for perfection, you don't need that much protein. If you, you focus on eating whole foods that come from plants and you're focused on eating enough of them, you're going to get all the protein that you need. I have, I personally have put on 10 pounds of muscle in the last six months without counting protein. I went from 120 to 131 in the last six months. Why did I weigh so little? Because I was depressed and I wasn't eating, I wasn't working out. So my body deteriorated all the way back down to 120 pounds. Yes, I still had my mobility. Yes, I still had my flexibility, but my muscle had been eating in a way. So without counting, without counting calories, without counting my macros, I put on 10 pounds, 11 pounds, essentially. And I'm poised to do more now that I've been even more consistent with my workouts and with making sure that I am doing progressive overload instead of just a workout. So I hope that was helpful and it answered your question on building more muscle. For someone who wants wants to lose weight, it's important for them to focus on losing, instead of focusing on losing weight, focusing on a body recomposition. That's why in my bio now, it does not say I help people lose 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Specifically, it says you're going to lose 20 pounds of fat. Because when you focus on fat burning and muscle building, the weight is going to regulate itself. But more importantly, you're going to see the inches come off. Because I, in talking to over 200 people over the last four years, most people don't care how much they weigh. They care about how they look. They want to be able to fit into their favorite clothes. They want to look good when they put on that dress or that suit. It's not about what the scale weighs. That's not important to them. What's important is how they look and how they feel. If we're able to get you to the, the dress size you want, if we're able to get you to the pants circumference or the pants diameter that you want, does the scale really matter? If when you look in the mirror, you say, damn, I'm six. So comment the word program, and I'll send you a, a, a video with three steps on how to lose 20 pounds. Okay. So great question. What other questions about weight loss do you have? Because that's what we're talking about today. Yes, I'm making some pancakes, but this is really a conversation about losing weight. The cooking pancakes and peppers and potatoes is just a part of it. Now, when you come in the word program, you're going to be automatically sent a message. That message is going to have a link that will take you to the video. All right. So comment the word program if you want to find out how you can lose 20 pounds in the next 12 weeks because it is doable that is about I'm not going to say average that's the top of well the top the most that anybody's ever lost in my 12 week program is 30 pounds the least anybody's ever lost when they actually put in the effort was 10 pounds so I guess 20 pounds would be the average so if you want to average and lose 20 pounds Following a true system, a system that's proven to work, laid out step by step without giving you all the fluff, without giving you all the hours in the gym. My workouts for my clients are 30 minutes plus a warm up. So 40 minutes at most, three or four days a week. You see that I, I don't like to cook. So all of my meals are simple. So the meals in your meal prep are going to be simple, too. I see you uh, in here, um, Miss DC Charles. I sent you the video. Did you watch it yet? Yeah, I'm calling you out on live. So ask me your questions about weight loss because otherwise I'm just going to throw out some random facts and talk about my coaching method and approach. Because what I do, I've gotten real specific about who I help and how I help them. So 
I help parents over the age of 35 lose 20 pounds of fat and regain their energy in 12 weeks so they can be there for the moments that matter. And I do, do this by helping people in three simple moves. The first move is to shift their mindset. Oftentimes, oh, I'll get into the I'll get into the breakdown in a second. The second move is to optimize their hormones. The third move is to optimize their metabolism. Why are these three things important? Let's break them down individually. Let's first start off with mindset. I've been doing sales, corporate sales, all this for the longest time. And one of the things that people always tell me, or always used to say in the psychology, the self-help, the sales books, is there's a pattern of things. And those patterns start off with your thought. Because your thought about a situation, about a thing that you must do, anything, everything starts with thought. Those the thoughts that you have are going to lead to the feelings that you have. So your thought about pancakes are going to lead to a feeling about pancakes. Me, I think about pancakes. I think joy and happiness. Right. So now you have the thought which leads to a feeling. And most people act off how they feel. So how you feel is going to determine the actions that you take. I thought pancakes hmm, taste good. Joy. I took the action of cooking pancakes. Now, after you've taken action, you're going to get a result. That result is going to be either desirable or undesirable based on the action that you took or didn't take. So using just that thought pattern alone, shifting someone's mindset around working out. If you think that working out is going to be hard or it's going to take up a lot of time, you're not likely going to do it. So it's my job to help you shift your mindset around workouts, to help you see that it can be done quickly. It doesn't have to be painful. It doesn't have to be awkward and uncomfortable. That's one mindset shift. Another mindset shift that people often have when it comes time for them to get healthy and lose weight is it takes so much time. And that's another mindset sh shift that we must make. Because if you feel like it's going to take too much time, you're not going to do it. Because you're going to forever feel like you have to sacrifice something else in order to get it done. So it's my job to help you see or shift that to if I don't work out, I won't have time for anything else because my health will begin to fail. I'm just giving you some brief examples, right? Another mindset shift that oftentimes needs to be made is I'm going to have to sacrifice or I'm going to have to give up the things I enjoy. When all of my clients know that's not true because there are healthier ways to eat some of the things that you want to eat. There are healthier ways to do some of the things that you want to do. So those those are just a few of the mindset shifts that we help people with, along with their shift or thoughts and relationships with food, with themselves, with. So here's a mindset shift. I've tried I've, I've tried to lose weight before and I didn't do it. So why is it going to work this time? That's a mindset shift that has to be made before you can see any results. So first move is to shift your mindset. The second move is to balance your hormones. Why is it important to balance your hormones? Well, last time I checked, it's hormones that are released that tell you when you're hungry. There are hormones that are released that tell you when you're, you're full. Heck, in order for the glucose in your blood to get into your cells, there's a hormone involved. That hormone is called insulin, by the way. If you are overstressed, 
your body releases this hormone called cortisol. If you're not, not burning enough cortisol, your body stores it as fat. So do you see it? So, so somebody type in the comments if what I'm saying is making sense on why balancing your hormones and optimizing your hormones is important for weight loss. Anybody understand that? Is, that, is this making sense to anybody? If it is, drop your favorite emoji in the comment section right now. And if it's not, don't. But if it is, drop your favorite comment in the, in, in your favorite emoji in the comment section. Make this a conversation. Had hella cortisol. I bet. And since you've been focusing on changing things up, you've lost a lot of weight. I just saw I just saw one of your videos, and I'm like, huh? Okay, I see you, Miss K. Now take me a trip out to um uh, to San Diego. So balancing your hormones is a key and pivotal step in helping you lose the weight that you want to lose, specifically the fat that you want to lose. Because without the correct hormones, your body's not going to burn fat. It's just not. The third move in helping you reduce fat is to optimize your metabolism. I ain't seen no, hold on, actually, I'm not even going on to there. New here. Does your program work for menopause, women, menopausal women? Yes, ma'am, it does. To give you more clarity, Miss T, 70% of the women, well, first off, 90% of my clients are women. Of that 90%, 70% of them are over the age of 40. That's why I mentioned balancing hormones as one of the key moves that we make in the program. So yes, ma'am. Because menopause is basically your hormones acting a damn fool. They going all over the place and they're trying to readjust to this new phase of life. So comment the word program and I'll send you a video with three steps on how you can lose 20 pounds or more. And if it makes sense for you, you we can book a free discovery, a free strategy call where we'll get on for 30 minutes and create a customized plan for you on how you can actually implement the steps and actions needed to lose that 20 pounds. So just think about that. If you started this week, by January, the end of January, you will have lost 20 pounds. So you will be ahead of everybody else who waits to January 1 to start their new year, new me thing. Why wait to... If, if you really want a new you, why wait to the new year? Some people are going to be like, oh, well, the holidays are coming up. I think that's the best time to have a coach in your corner because now you have someone to help you navigate the holidays without putting on an extra 10 pounds. If you could go through these holidays without putting on an extra 10 pounds, what would that mean to you? Mindful breathing with about 20 bites. I love that, Kay. She changed the way she eats, relaxed, not in a rush, mindful breathing. Yes, sir, and thank you. Program, please. Yes, I got you. So if you don't get the automated message, just come back and type the word program by itself because I'm not sure if I got it to consist all or, or not. So is anything that I'm saying making sense? Let me see some emojis to come through the comments section. Otherwise, I'm not going on. I need to see some emojis. I need to know that the things that I'm saying are making sense. Man, I love this caraway. Look, I just cooked four four whole pancakes, and this thing is clean, clean. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. You see the little black spots? The black spots gone. You see how quick and clean that was, man? All right, I'm sorry, I digress. I'm supposed to be talking to y'all about weight loss. Cross the truth. I've applied all these tips to my life last six months and I'm down 25 pounds. All right, so I love that. So Kay is, Kay is an actual personal friend of mine, y'all. So she has not gone through my coaching program. However, she's reached out to me for tips and advice. And I love giving her tips and advice because she's one person that I know is going to go out and implement once I get 
for those who are wondering what the pancakes, potatoes, and peppers look like, that's what they look like. Now I need a knife. One of these since I'm a butter knife with dirty. And she just told y'all, like, I didn't, I didn't ask her to say that. She, she did that all on her own. She said that by following the tips that I've given her, she's lost 25 pounds in the last six months. And that's because she's doing it on her own. She doesn't have a proven, she doesn't have a plan or a system that is laid out. She doesn't have the one-on-one -on -one coaching to help her with the, the hiccups. So she's doing it all on her own. She reaches out when she gets stuck and needs some advice, right? Give me a second. You rinse this off so it don't get hard and make it harder for me to clean. I like these. Something's missing. I'll get back to it in the chest. Right? So the three things. Let me see if I see some emojis over here. All right, I got a couple of emojis. All right, that was about the food. All right, so if you want to lose 20 pounds in the next 12 weeks, there are three things for you to focus on. The first one is shifting your mindset. When you shift your mindset, you change your thoughts. When you change your thoughts, you change your feelings. When you change your feelings, you change the actions that you take or don't take. When you change the actions that you take or don't take, you change the results that you get. Okay? That's, that's the first key to losing 20 pounds in the next 12 weeks. The second key to losing 20 pounds in the next 12 weeks is to balance your hormones. If your hormones are out of whack, your body's not going to burn fat correctly. It's not going to do any of the things. Excuse me one second. not going to operate funk optimally. optimally. All right, my bad. I forgot y'all was here. So, balancing your hormones is step number two. Step number three is balancing your metabolism, and that's the one I didn't go into. Why do you need to balance your metabolism? Your metabolism dictates how much energy you burn so if you want to lose fat we just talked about you have to be in a calorie deficit you get in a calorie deficit by burning more calories than you take in well if your body is not burning calories at an optimal level you're not going to lose weight well what is a part of your metabolism your digestive system and how you digest food how you absorb the nutrients how you eliminate waste, all of these things have an effect on your metabolism. So in order to fix all three of those areas, I came up with six pillars of health that will fix all of them. It will, and it will fix all three of them. The first one is to detoxify your life. One of the reasons I'm using this caraway cookware skillet because it's non-toxic. You detoxify your life, and I'm talking about your items in your life, the things in your life, the places in your life, the people in your life. If it's toxic, it's got to go. Toxic thinking has to go. Hence, first step, mindset shifts. The second pillar of health is to optimize your nutrition. Why are we optimizing your nutrition? Because if you're eating the right foods that help, one, boost your metabolism, two, boost your digestion, three, boost your waste elimination, now your metabolism is able to work correctly. And when you're eating nutrient-rich foods, your hormones are able to balance. Well, what are nutrient-rich foods? Whole foods that come from plants. Simple as that. The third way to address all three of those areas is to optimize your hydration. With optimized hydration, now your body has the fluids that it needs so that your metabolism and your hormones can be in balance. Because when you're dehydrated, your hormones are out of balance, your digestive system is off, 
and your brain starts to shut down other bodily functions because it has to prioritize where the fluid in your body goes to keep those areas functioning properly. Fourth, fourth, fourth way to address all three of those is to optimize your fitness. This means that you're moving every day and you're using strength training and progressive overload to create more muscle. Why do you want to optimize your fitness? How is optimizing your fitness going to help with your mindset? Well, if, if you look good, you take typically feel better and you have a better perception of yourself you have a better self-image when you look good so if your fitness is in alignment you have a better self-image when you have a better self-image you tend to want to do things that are in your best interest so you're going to take the actions that get you the results that you want right so, so that's how we shift your mindset with fitness how do we shift your hormones with fitness well when you are working out some of that cortisol that you have gets burned up. When you're working out, some of that extra estrogen gets used up. When you're working out, your body calls on different functions so that it's working properly. Just saying. How does working out affect your metabolism? Well, when you work out, you burn more calories and you build more muscle. Those muscles require more calorie burn, so it improves your metabolism. How does working out, so we just addressed all three. So the next one after you optimize your fitness is to optimize your sleep. Why do I need to optimize my sleep, coach? I'm just fine running around on four hours. Well, when your sleep is optimized, you think more clearly. You don't have as much brain fog. See that mind? See how that ties in the mindset? When you get better sleep your body is able to go through all of the healing processes and reset your hormone levels when you get enough quality sleep your body's able to go through the processes that it goes through and most people don't know this when you're sleeping is when you you lose your weight. That's when the body is actually going through and eliminating cells. Most people don't realize that when you burn fat, the way that the byproducts of fat are sent out through your breath, through your pee and poop. So if you're sleeping optimally, you're getting enough sleep, you're going to be doing a lot of deep breathing and bringing it, breathing out that excess fat. And the sixth pillar of health to affect all three is to regulate your stress by eliminating and managing stress. Well, eliminating and reducing stress. So it's regulate your stress hormone by eliminating and reducing stress. That's how we're going to say that. Because stress leads to high blood pressure. We already explained how excess cortisol is stored in the body is fat. So, so if you use like a step-by-step -step system to implement these six pillars of health into your life, come into our program and I'll send you a free video Three steps that you can start doing today to be on track for losing 20 pounds in the next 12 weeks. So if you want to look good for Christmas, I'll jump on it now. Is what I'm saying making sense to anybody? Or am I speaking out of, out of that field? If, if anything I've said so far is tracking, you tracking with me. Drop an emoji in the comment section.
If anything that I've said about weight loss is making sense to you, drop an emoji in the comment section. Don't get indigestion, coach. You're wrong. Should be mastication and slow for more. Yeah, so I understand I should be eating a lot, a lot slower. No worry, I'll repost it. So essentially, I know I should be chewing my food more slowly, but I'm eating, I'm chewing and talking to y'all. I'm not gonna get indigestion. Thankfully, I've trained my digestive system like this. So for those that are just joining us, I know you're just caring about me. I appreciate you. So for those that are just joining, I'm telling you the steps that you can take to lose 20 pounds in the next 12 weeks. And it starts with focusing on three areas. Those three areas are shifting your mindset so that you have better better thoughts, better feelings, to take the correct actions that get you the results. The second step is to balance your hormones so that your body's actually communicating with itself correctly. The third step is to optimize your metabolism so that your body is actually burning calories, digesting food, and allowing nutrient absorption at the highest level. And you can accomplish all three of those by implementing my six pillars of health, which are detoxify your life, optimize your nutrition, optimize your hydration, optimize your fitness, optimize your sleep, and regulate your stress hormone by eliminating and reducing stress. I've created created a step-by-step -step system on how to do this called the Vitality Blueprint. It's a 12-week process that helps you implement each of these different pillars of health into your life. And I understand that you're a busy parent. I understand that you're a professional. You've got things going on in your life. All of that was taken into consideration when I built this program. I myself am a father of two and a full-time entrepreneur. So I know how short time can be. I know the importance of quick meals, having things ready for you when you need them, not spending hours in the gym, because I don't like to spend hours in the gym. I, with this program, I removed all of the objections that people would normally give. I don't have time. I understand that. That's why your workouts are only 30 minutes each. It's expensive. All of the food that's on the meal plan can be found at your local grocery store, whether it be an Aldi, Walmart, Snooks, Publix, Winn-Dixie, Kroger, whatever your local grocery store. You don't have to go to farmer's markets. You don't have to go to Whole Foods. The other objection that people often give is, I don't know what to do. That's why I lay everything out for you step by step. Your meal plan even comes with a grocery list. So there is literally no thinking involved. Another example that people give is, oh, well, I'm just not ready. Well, you can either make time for health or your health is going to make you make time for it. You get to be in the driver's seat when you make the choice. But when your health makes the choice for you, the only thing that you're going to wish for is better health. So if you're 20 pounds or more overweight, dealing with high blood pressure, dealing with diabetes, just don't like the way you look in your clothes, comment the word program, and I'll send you a free video with three steps you can take to lose 20 pounds in the next 12 weeks. I am eating pancakes with potatoes and peppers, roasted potatoes and peppers.
So out of the 12 people here, who has a question about weight loss? And what they need to do to lose weight? Out of the 13 people in here, I need every last one of y'all to share this live with two people. And you do that by hitting the little arrow button down at the bottom and pick two people out of the top. Because everybody on here knows somebody that needs to hear this message. I got a question. How is being overweight affecting you? If the, is, is anybody willing to share how being overweight is affecting them? Okay. So getting back into it is definitely a good thing for you. I'm glad that you're adding that. Wishing you a speedy recovery. That's why I have strategy sessions with all of my clients to help them determine their level of exercise. And all of the exercises in the program can be modified to fit any fitness level or body type. Overweight is a disgusting feeling. I'm exactly 20 pounds overweight. So, Allison Music, comment the word program. Clothes don't fit. Wow. How does that make you feel when your clothes don't fit? And what are you doing about it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's comments like that that helped me justify showing up even when I don't feel like it because I didn't feel like doing this live today. Didn't really feel like doing much talking because I do have my own personal stuff that I deal with and I didn't feel like talking today. But th thank you for reassuring me that I that, that, that there's somebody that needed to hear my story, needed to hear my message. Now, for everybody that's commenting the word program, I need you to go to your DM and make sure you click that link so that you can watch the video. I'm going to ask you to give me your information. That is that is the cost. So for those that are wondering, why am I giving away a free video? Because I'm going to get your information. That is the cost. If you're giving me your information. I love that for you. I have the Generative spine disease and arthritis in both knees. That doesn't mean that you have that you are relegated to being overweight, ma'am. Oh, sir, I can't tell from the picture who, who I'm talking to. So just because you have degenerative spine and arthritis in both knees, there are still movements that you can do, and there are shifts and changes that you can make in your eating that's going to help you with that. I have a home girl. All she did was went vegan and she lost 100 pounds okay pauline thank you for that i remember how bad i felt when i was 224 i was tired and made depression now i'm at one i feel stuck at this weight it's been difficult lately so when sometimes after you lost so much you can hit a plateau and it takes a different way of thinking or a different approach to help you get past that plateau so dc angel comment program let's get you on a discovery call on a strategy call, and let's figure out what steps you need to take so that you can break through that plateau. So I'm always transparent with y'all. The free video is a way to get you all to see more of what I do and how I do it so that you can book a free strategy call. It's a 30 minute strategy call where we build out your exact step-by-step -step system of what you need to do. And you can walk away with that if you want. Or if you want my help implementing that system, we can talk about that as well. I'm always a front with y'all. There's no backhanded, backsided, none of that stuff going on here. So what's your question? So I, I had a couple people tell me how being overweight made them feel. Who else wants to chime in? And I appreciate those who were open enough to, to share that. Because I know that's not 
easy to share in an open form. Who on the, who is watching this live right now would love to lose 20 pounds and they just don't know where to start? Show of hands. What's up, Amelia? Who on this live right now would love to lose 20 pounds in 12 weeks and they don't know where to start? Drop an emoji. Mmm. Just be black. I, I send in love your way. I know what it feels like to be depressed. And that's not a fun feeling at all. So let's get you an action plan to get you to feel good about yourself again. Because I don't want anybody to walk around being depressed. That is the worst feeling that I've ever experienced. Being depressed was, was, was worse, was a more, was a feeling worse than the sadness that I felt after burying my mom. Comment the word program. So Ben Sun Emian, be in so who who you know who I'm trying to say. You need help? Comment the word program and let's get you some help. Yes, I am in Florida. Thankfully, though, my program is completely digital, so you can join the program no matter where you are in the world. I have a client who just finished up twelve weeks who was in. Israel. One of my clients that took my course was in Paris. Most of my clients are all over the United States. I even have a client that lives in the boonies of Kentucky. So there is no excuse on, oh, I live somewhere where Food is not available for well, my program it is because everywhere got a walmart everywhere got an aldi it's a whole lot easier than which you actually think it is which is why one of the things that we address is mindset that's why that is the first move that we make is shifting your mindset So somebody that's willing to share, tell with me one of the beliefs that they have that they feel has stopped them from losing weight. And I'll do a direct coaching with you on that belief right here, right now. Somebody share a limiting belief that they have about why they can't lose the weight. And I will do direct coaching for you right now. This is, how, this is how much I love what I do. I'm willing to give away my coaching for free on, on a live. Because, yeah, money is important, but money isn't why I do this. I do what I do because I know what it feels like to bury my mom. Okay, lovely. Well... When you come to Miami, look me up. Maybe we can have lunch. Somebody who's overweight and have a limiting belief around why they can't lose the weight, I want to coach you right now on live. You don't have to come on the live, but at least share it. Okay, so because I can't run anymore, and running was your burn, 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 I understand that, that stops the cravings for carbs, but I can't run, and you're eating carbs, how obvious and weird is that? It's not weird at all. So oftentimes, carbs, one, get a bad rap. Carbs are a fantastic thing to eat. The problem is if you're eating processed carbs. So that's a problem. Now. It makes sense that you were craving carbs because if you're someone who's not feeling very well, feeling 
feeling down, they're feeling sad, they're feeling depressed. Carbs are what the body's going to crave as a way to arthritis and knees can't do squats. That's okay. There are other movements to do other than squats. So when you're when you are craving carbs, it's probably because you're craving something soft, bready, or sweet, which those are emotions for love, want, and something else that's not at the top of my mind right now. So just be black when you book your strategy call. Remember to remind me of that, and I'll tell you some alternative exercises that you can do. Comfort, exactly. That's why you do. That's why you're craving those. Is for comfort. So who else? Who else has a limiting belief that is stopping them from losing weight, or they believe is stopping them from losing weight? I want to coach you right now on live for free. Okay, well, don't stop here. Come put the word program, watch the video. If the video makes sense for you so that you know that I am the coach for you, click that button and book your discovery call. Because if you like the way I show up on live, imagine if you had me one-on-one. -on -one. My energy is the same. If you watch, like, I want you to go back and watch the, the testimonial video in my in my stories right now. There's a testimonial video in my stories that is a snippet of one of the coaching calls that I do with clients while they're in the program. And you see the energy that I bring to my clients. Yes, I act the fool. I don't act a whole lot of fool when I'm in content like this or on live I do, but in my other content, because what I'm talking about is so serious. But when I'm with my clients one-on-one, -on -one, you get 100% all Coach Rob. And he's a bit of a, he's a, bit of a fool. Not a bit of a fool, actually, but okay, we got up to 15 people. So, who, who has a question about their weight loss? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad for that. I'm glad that I can give you hope. And yeah, not had the I've had to build this this the muscle that I have back because back in June I weighed 120 pounds. Because I lost so much muscle from depression. And I, if you go back and look at my content, I talked about it. I've always been an open book about my battle with depression. And this last year gave me plenty of reasons to be like that. However, standing in front of you today, I weigh 131 pounds. I don't count calories. I don't count macros. I eat whole foods that come from plants. I eat some full. I don't eat when I'm not hungry. So it's not, you got to eat six times a day. It's not you got to eat five times a day. Nope. That ain't it. No, I don't play any musical instruments. I sing. I'm not musically inclined. My boys can do a thing or two. Great personal question. Thank you. So who else has a question about their weight loss? I appreciate you, friend. Oh, yeah. So for me, um, what I have to do, one of the things I have to do for me when I, when I am pulling myself out of that is get active. Um, so I have to go skating. 
have to go running, I have to work out, I have to go uh, climbing, I have to get out in nature and do something. I can only get down to a certain weight and then don't lose anymore. Okay, so that means you're hitting what's called a plateau, Miss T. And oftentimes, what gets us to one weight isn't what's going to take us to the next level. So that's where having a coach, a trainer, or someone who can get a little bit more specific and drill down to help you with that. So let's make sure that when you book your strategy call, you remind me that you've done some things to lose weight and you've hit a plateau so that we can talk about the things that you've done that got you to where you are and what's not working anymore so that we don't do more of the same. My strategy calls are very strategic. It's me asking you questions about what you've done, where you are, where you'd like to be, and then we spend time creating a step-by-step -step plan to help you get there. It's 555, y'all. I've been seeing these angel numbers a lot these last couple of weeks. Anybody know what that means? I'm not big on metaphysical stuff. Learning it, but don't know it. I mean, that's the thing about me. When I don't know something, I'm okay with telling you. I don't have to be the, the, the know-it-all, be-it-all. I know what I know. I don't want to know what I don't. When I don't. And what I don't know, I will go find out. Why am I standing up eating? Y'all just don't let me stand up and eat. What's going on, sis? There's two day vegan in the building. I'm gonna call you by your name, but I didn't want to say the wrong name. I think I know it, but for whatever, for whatever reason, it wasn't coming to me. As y'all see, I keep books by me for healing, but that are about healing, because I'm constantly reading, constantly researching, constantly improving my knowledge. I know three is a divine number. Dana, that's it, right? I just didn't want, I didn't want to be loud and wrong, but I, I, I want to say it's Dana. Am I right? Or am I wrong? Yes. And this goes out to you because I see you've been on your journey. Comment the word program if you want some guidance for you and the family. Because I see y'all been, been doing been with y'all consistency. But if you're not getting the results you want, come on and join me on this other side. I love to have you as a client. Uh, you know most of everything. It's just going to be some shifts and adjustments. Got to run. See you on the flip side. Peace. Till next time. And thanks for caring about me. And hopefully you booked your free discovery call, strategy call, whichever one you want to call it, so that you can get the help you deserve. Who, who has questions about weight loss? Otherwise, I'm going to get off here and enjoy these last few bites without talking. Who has a question about weight loss? Or, more specifically, who has a limiting belief about themselves or about losing weight that has stopped them from losing weight. I want to coach you live right now. So there's eight people on here. Which one of y'all have a limiting belief that is preventing you from losing the weight that you want to lose? You go over here to my list real quick, see how many people have actually followed through Okay, three, three people have followed through since early. Love it. Nobody else has booked their appointments yet, but that's okay. All right, see you.
All right, you me me what 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 question I ask? So yeah, you can either come on the live or you can type the limiting belief in the chat and I'll answer it and coach you from there. Now, if you've already signed up and you watch the video, click that yellow button to book your strategy call because I only have five spots left for coaching open this month. And once they're closed, they're closed. So who has a question about weight loss or who has a limiting belief that they want to, they want some coaching on right now? If y'all don't talk to me, we gonna get off of here. You need the video, please. Okay, so if you signed up, once you enter your information, the video will be the next screen after you enter your information. So, all right. Don't look, I got no more questions about weight loss. No one else wants to be coached today. So I'm going to let y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Saturday evening without looking at this mug. For those who were new here and their first time, I'm Coach Robert Moore, your favorite health and nutrition guy, helping you lose 20 pounds of fat and regain your energy in 12 weeks so you can be there for all the moments that matter. We do that through three simple moves. We help you shift your mindset. We help you balance and optimize your hormones. We help you optimize your metabolism. We do that with the six pillars of health, which are detoxify your life, optimize your nutrition, optimize your hydration, optimize your fitness, optimize your sleep, and regulate your stress levels by eliminating and reducing stress at all costs. If you're someone who is a busy parent, 20 pounds or more overweight, and you want to finally have that energy, look good in your clothes, look great naked, be there, have the energy, have the attentiveness to be with your family and enjoy those important moments, comment the word program. I'll send you a free video. And if that video makes sense, We'll book you a strategy call so that we can build your personalized weight loss plan and how you can actually get there. Till later, my friends. Peace.